Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of Machine Learning with Python. I am Shourav Konmokar from Updegree. In this video, we shall discuss about Machine Learning. So there are a lot of buzzwords around us these days. So what are those buzzwords? Data analysis, big data, probability, artificial intelligence, deep learning, machine learning, neural networks, statistics, data science, etc, etc. Now we'll be trying to demystify these buzzwords. So artificial intelligence enables the machine to think and take decision like humans. It begins in late 1950s. However, machine learning we can think of as a subset of artificial intelligence, which are nothing but a collection of statistical tools to learn from data. It begins in early 1970s and popularized in late 1980s. Deep learning, which we can think of even a subset of machine learning, is usually conceived as a multi-layered neural networks learning features automatically from data and makes decision. It was popularized in 2006 onwards. In present day, all the researches in the field of artificial intelligence is mainly in deep learning. Now data science encompasses all of these deep learning, machine learning and artificial intelligence. So data science basically is nothing but making sense out of messy data. It comprises of data acquisition, data visualization, data interpretation, data wrangling, data analysis, data validation, etc. Now applications, predictive analytics, so let's say weather prediction or forecasting, stock price prediction, predicting the chance of defaulting a loan or predicting the expected time of journey. So all kind of predictive analytics is basically done by machine learning and artificial intelligence nowadays. Then comes recommender system. So this is the Netflix recommendation system. We have seen recommendation system in Amazon or Flipkart like websites as well. So what is a recommendation system? So it will recommend you some products or things based on your past history. Then comes natural language processing, which is having a widespread application nowadays. So this is one of the application of natural language processing. So different kind of voice recognition application are made using NLP, like Amazon Alexa, or Google Assistant or Apple Siri etc. Then using natural language processing it is possible for query suggestion. So what is query suggestion? So if you try to type something it will automatically suggest the type of query you will be looking for. NLP has greatly facilitated question answering in the form of natural language. So let's say if I type what is the temperature, it will show the temperature of the current state and the current time. Okay. Now, how machine is understanding our human language? So this is because of the natural language processing enabled inside the machine learning algorithm which runs the machine. Natural language processing enables to have a chatbot which will interact with the user like a human being and it is greatly useful and it is also scalable. Natural language processing also enables machine translation. Let's say this is one sentence in Spanish, hola amigo como estas and in English it means hello friend how are you. If you notice in Spanish it is only four words, however in English this is five words. So it is not simple word to word translation. Okay. 
So translation from sentence from one language to another may not be a straightforward approach. Okay, so there is a bank at the bank of the river. So note that here the first bank actually means financial institution, where the second bank actually means the side of the river, right? But it has successfully translated that into Hindi. Nadi ke tat par ek bank hai. So here that means the bank of the river and the last bank is basically the financial institution we'll be talking about. So uh, the machine learning system has understood the context of the word and translated accordingly. So IBM Watson winning Jeopardy, it is a great landmark for the national language processing community. So Jeopardy is an American quiz competition game show and Jeopardy won this beating to all time favorite contestant of this particular game. Then comes the applications in computer vision. So one of the most significant application of AI and machine learning in computer vision is face recognition. Another application which is gaining popularity these days is self-driving car. So in fact Google, Uber, all kind of companies are now investing in self-driving car. AI enabled computer vision also gives machine the ability to detect the objects. AI enabled computer vision also gives the machine the ability to track the object. Then in astrophysics and space exploration. So NASA discovered Kepler 90i using artificial intelligence and data science applied to astronomical data. Kepler 90i is a super earth exoplanet located 2545 light years away from earth. So first ever di direct image of black hole was published in 10th April 2019 by analyzing terabytes of data produced by Event Horizon Telescope. This black hole lurks around the center of a nearby galaxy named Messier 87 which is approximately 53 million light years away from Earth. Now application domains of machine learning and AI. This can be applied in bank or the banking and financial and securities institution known as BFSI. It can be applied in automobile. It can be applied in healthcare. It can be applied in FMCG. It can be applied in retail and so many places. So it has a widespread application. Now machine learning as career. So this is one of the famous quotation coined by Cisco. It said that data is the new oil and information is the new currency. So job market perspective. So it has a high demand in market. So around 700,000 jobs by 2020 as forecasted by IBM. So it is only in United States. In India, it would be much better. Then, but the supply of machine learning engineer or data scientist is low. So it is having a very high job market. Financial perspective, one of the few highest paying jobs in 21st century. Pay is normally 20% to 50% higher than traditional software engineering. Application perspective, as we have already seen, it has numerous domains where ML and AI can be applied. Like BFSI, retail, FMCG, healthcare, manufacturing and you name it. So this is the superpower we can say that enables a successful career. Thank you. See you in the next lecture where we'll be discussing about the machine learning, how it has been done and what is unsupervised learning, supervised learning, etc. So see you in the next lecture. Thank you.